During World War II, both Nazis and Allied soldiers were doing something quite strange. They were spraying some kind of powder on themselves. That powder was an insecticide. And in the case of American and other Allied soldiers, that insecticide was the now infamous DDT. Now I say infamous because this thing turned out later to be extremely toxic, both for humans and many other animal species as well. The thing was supposed to be a protection from malaria, but it actually ended up creating cancers. But the Nazis, they had a different version of DDT and they called it DFDT. And their version was actually much better and safer, but it was totally forgotten after the war. So the question is, what happened? Well, when DDT, the US version, was discovered back in 1939 by a certain Paul Motor, the thing was described as magical, miraculous, as part of the world of tomorrow. It basically received a lot of good press. And that's because it was so efficient against mosquitoes and all kinds of insects. Its effects could last up to 30 days when sprayed on a field. On top of that, it wasn't even harmful to humans when making direct contact. Some even went as far as to eat the thing to prove that it was safe. The way it worked was pretty interesting. DDT is a ton of tiny crystals. So when it was sprayed on a surface, mosquitoes would land on it and absorb the crystals through their legs. Then the product would affect their nervous system which spammed their muscles making them flex so hard that they died. So soldiers sprayed it on their equipment to keep themselves safe from malaria, a disease that kills a child every two minutes, also typhus and the Zika virus. And that worked pretty well for them during the war. So much so that afterwards it became a global hit. People began having using it on farms and it quickly became the pesticide of the 20th century. In the US only, about one and a half billion pounds of it were used. But the one thing that was neglected was that the insects that were infected by DDT still had predators, like birds and fish, and we eat those animals. When those birds were in contact with DDT, all their eggshells would become extremely fragile and thin. That caused a catastrophic decline of the bald eagle population, that's literally the symbol of the US, and it also affected many other species of birds. So, humans being on top of the food chain, DDT ended up affecting us too. And that led to an increased number of spontaneous abortions and also an increased risk of autism in children. Some studies even suggest that it could have caused multiple types of cancers. As I said at the beginning, the Nazis version DFDT was much more efficient. But after the war, allies found about it and totally dismissed the German claims saying their claims were supported by meager and inadequate testing. Also, the fact that it was made by Nazis probably played a role in taking that decision. So they generally just ignored the Germans' work. But the truth is that DFDT is actually 2-4 to four times better than DDT, the reason being that it acts much faster. So if you're able to kill mosquitoes faster, they don't have time to reproduce and eventually develop a resistance to the product meaning you have to use less of it, which leads to less environmental impact and risk of death. DDT was finally banned in 1972 because of its negative effects on humans and its environmental impact after many decades of extensive farm use. All of this was actually found about in 2019 by researchers from NYU when they essentially rediscovered DFDT by experimenting. So if allies had paid more attention to DFDT back in 1945, maybe DDT wouldn't have had such a negative impact on the environment. So thanks for watching and consider subscribing.